Hello all, this is Dixit and uh, I have around more than 12 years of experience in training and I am purely from the integration background. So last 12, 13 years I am mostly working into the integration tools like WMB, uh, IBM integration bus, bus, IBM App Connect and Data Power and many different related tools like WSO2, MuleDSP and Google APG and I give training into the IBM integration bus which was previously known as uh, Message Broker and uh, I also give training into the Google APG as well. Okay. So let's start here. So first of all, uh, this training session is for IBM integration bus so we will mostly talk about that. So before we start the training of IBM integration bus, first of all we, know, we need to know that uh, what is integration and why that is needed. So So integration is like two systems are there, three systems are there, which have a lot of complexity. Resolution and a lot of transformation involved. Okay. So transformation involved, routing involved. So that's what the middleware comes into the picture. And integration comes to the picture. Okay, so for that, actually, IIB, IBM Integration Bus, I mean, have a lot of options and plugins already available which can be used and which are proven plugins from the different different industry like healthcare, banking, uh, uh, retail, airline. You can think of any industry, any place, any company, any big company, and they must be using the IBM Integration Bus as a tool. Okay, so there is no doubt about that, and uh, this is already proven. So generally, organization trust it because there is not not lot of dependency on the developer or the, okay, the implementation we have done. It is mostly managed by the organization like IBM. So okay, so to know the IBM integration bus, which is called IIB, we should know or mostly like MQ is. MQ was must till the previous version and uh, uh, but now they have removed the dependency from IBM MQ but you should know about MQ and you should know about files some shots of like um, adapters like um, HTTP plus you should know about that web service you should know about the rest okay so you should know about some kind of SAP, how to connect with the CICS, which is kind of a mainframe systems, how you can go and connect with the mainframe system. There, there are different, many different adapters available like Tbill. Okay, so I will not cover all of them. Why is not because of like, uh, we don't know. It is like because we don't have the right systems available to give you the demo. But I will give you the demo on file, web services, REST, and uh, uh, so based web services, SQB based, based services, file based systems, MQ, Kafka. So you can, if you are handy with those those things, you can easily understand like um, how can you can integrate the other adapters there. So basically, uh, just a second. If you see to know the IBM integration bus, it is not a kind of a standalone tool it is kind of integration tool so you should be part of the different different things some small small tools as well like soap ui postman you should know about the rfs util you should know about like the data like uh, how the rest data look like the yes, data look like how the soap data look like how the flat files look like how you can process them and how this xml data look like so all those knowledge small small knowledge from the all the areas is needed and in this training, I will mostly cover that. So this is about the very basic information like how, what is integration and where IIB comes to the picture and what are the minimum information you need to know uh, to uh, to learn and work into the IIB. So from the installation point of view, you can just uh, install IIB uh, version 10 onwards. There is no dependency on the MQ. But previously, it was dependent on the MQ and the IIB, uh, IBM DB2. 
uh, means uh, any database was needed at least to uh, install the system. But now IBM is removing the dependency on these two systems. So I can directly start IBM integration bus from the toolkit. So I will show you my toolkit as well, like how it look like. So just a second, share something else. Just a second, I will share. So this is the, so this is how the IBM integration bus look like. If you see, um, just a second. So yeah, so this is how it looks like. So uh, this is a, let, let me open a new screen for this. I will open another tool. See? So it will open, it will launch and minimum requirement. So in the test, you can go and create. Okay, let me create one more time in this case. I will delete this. So how how you can create an application in the IIB? Like go and create an application like test, and um, let me finish. Let then within an application they can create multiple services and services called something like uh, MQ2 file. Let me create a MQ2 MQ only. So this is kind of a flow name. It is a very simple generic flow name where I am trying to achieve is like I want to show like. How it actually why why it is so powerful and why it is being adopted by the different different industries. So reason behind C is like if you see now if I have to send message from one queue to another queue, so it is very simply we can drag and drop the two MQ one MQ input component, one input output adapters kind of you can say okay just a second. So MQ output you can take it here. Just simply drag the wire from here to here and you can there is try and failure catch i will explain probably sometime later but simply you can if you see if you see that let's say q1 you can put the name as q1 here also you can name as like q o u p let me rename it properly q n okay so while see this is uh, now you see like how it is possible now see uh, Simply this only this many configuration can transfer a message from one place to another place and we can deploy directly. So if you see now why why integration bus is needed. Now let's say uh, if you see the property of this MQ input, uh, we say node, but if you see the property of this node, you will see a lot of options here. I will show you one by one so that you are comfortable about this. See the connection, the destination queue manager name. The queue manager host name, like it means that you can connect with the destination, the target queue manager, queue managers, queue name, and queue manager, queue manager servers, and see the listener port channels. You can specify here. Not only that, you can parse the messages as well. Like you can tell IAB uh, that whenever message is coming, you par parse first. I will not process until unless this is a JSON message or XML. And see, like XML messages, there are different messages like with the attachment, blob. Blob means anything coming, you can just let it let go that in. So either you mention as a blob or leave its default like this, both are same. So other than that, if you see there are, even though there are a lot many options, like you can pass what kind of passing you want. See, so and now we come to the advanced. So it, it is asking a lot many features, okay? So like, uh, you do you want to, let's say you are consuming a message, message from mainframe. So their encoding and CSID uh, is completely different. So you can convert before it comes to the IIB. You can also try to browse this message. Means you want to process, but you don't want to delete those messages. So simple, simple examples I am taking here. In the advance, again I have already checked a few security also. You can mention the other security policies, instances like the multi-threading in Java. People and developers like struggling like anything to solve the where there are thread is actually creating problem. It being managed by the IBM integration bus itself, so it could not be a problem. And I, it is well proven in different different industry projects and domains. See the policy you can mention. You can generate your policy and you can attach the policy here. Similarly, monitoring simply we enable the events on which this should be monitored. So all those simple things. See, if you see, 
if a developer has to do this kind of activity in any tool or even in java it will take months to do not only months maybe sometimes to cover all the property of this node it will take years to just create one node and this is proven already it is not like okay it is created but not tested it is not like that it is already proven from i think more than 10 years more than 12 years 15 years i guess so this is how ibm build it uh, now coming back to let me take one one another example uh, which is very common people will definitely use that so let me show you like file input people have to process a file let's okay and they have to send to mq simply they can connect like this file will be transferred and how see see the properties again here polling interval like automatically it's going to poll for five seconds now to retry records and replay so all those options which you can think of is like already available into this ibm integration plugins so developer don't have to worry too much about the configuration too much about the tuning with the application make it compatible with another applications uh, like some changes at the runtime that is also there i will show you probably so this is so powerful tool that any organization any project is using frequently without any hesitation or without any problem this is one now i will tell you that there are some custom things are also available um, you see you can you can go to the construction okay uh, uh, transformation sorry so there are compute java compute there is dot net three three things are available so java compute if you are a java programmer just simply drag and drop change the compute here if you double click on it see it will, it will automatically create classes for you okay it will automatically create classes for you and then you can simply go and start coding it will create all the packages and everything is there see it is already it will create packages just simply you go and write your code other things multi-threading switching message processing message sending message are automatically getting covered similarly the compute node and the dot compute node okay so i will show you i will show you the compute node so compute node is 70 percent faster than java compute node it is built by ib of language so if you double click on that it also creates its own simple small setup code see by single writing like this it will send message whatever entire message it will copy to the output message how coding is being done so it is the coding is also very simple here in the java in the java you have to define through different kind of blocks but here it is like simple output root dot xml nsc dot first name name is equal to output sorry Input. What it means? Input means whatever coming in from uh, in, in input. Input root dot. Let's say some NSC. Let's say let's say to JSON. So it's JSON dot. Let's say imply name. Other things are being managed by IBM itself. So, so you can think like how powerful it is. Just I written, I created the flow. I can just put the plugins here and there, and just if some customized transformation required. I can simply go to the compute node, simply write the code like this. Okay. So this is one part about how it, how it looks like and all. Now let's let's see about the administration side a bit. So if you go simply start with the user interface. You can simply go here. Uh, I don't know whether you are able to see my screen or not. Let me probably share the window I'm trying to show you. Just a second. Share screen. So, yeah, I think hope you are able to share my see my screen now. Akash, can you confirm? Yes, we are able to see. Yeah, so you are able to see the admin console kind of things where it is written. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Statics and overview, you are able to see. So, yeah. So, if you see here, um, 
how beautifully IBM has designed this tool. You can see the available servers here. You can see the kind of application deployed, and you can you can see all the configuration about this application. Not only this, there are you can attach the policies, security resources. You can see, and not only this. Let me show you one more very interesting thing here. Um, monitoring. See, you can see all those default logs. Okay. Now, not only this. Let me see if we can show you the. Uh, not sure if this is available in this one. Uh, no, it is not the uh, application policy. Let's see. Workload management. No. So uh, maybe the flow that which I have deployed here is they don't have any this kind of configuration. That's why it is not showing here. So but you can see like this admin console, you can go and play with the play with the like uh, creating users, you can access it, data capture and storage, like record and replay feature. So what is that? So in, in any other tool, you cannot do like this. Uh, that in flight data you cannot capture immediately and then see the data and then let, let it go for replay. But that also feature is IBM is providing you nowadays. So uh, so all in nutshell, uh, simply like this is one of the best tool in the market for the integration. It has you can all the plugins available. The plugins name which I have given you. Let me show you one more time the plugins uh, because these plugins are very important. These plugins you will not find into the other tools uh, uh, like Mule or something else. And if you are going to get them, they, that API you have to pay for that. But here, if you see, all those plugins are available. Like CSS, I told you in the beginning, like TCP IP, like the databases, all those nodes are available. You can do those activities uh, which is suited to your organization or needed there. Okay, so let me show you the SCA adapters are there. There are web service adapters are there. See the SAP, CBEL, JD, AdWords inputs, so all those things which are you can think of is already available into this tool. 